Holy start the week off again. Thank you for coming to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. Please do subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow. Share this video if you really, really love it. Like and please do comment because I do read them all. So this is our romantic tarot. It looks into love, romance, and other sort of sensualities that are coming towards you next weekend out. If you're curious about what's going on this weekend, that romantic tarot is already up. I put it out last week, so you can go grab it. It's right under the romantic tarot playlist. Easy to find. Hello. Um, all of these predictions are by Zodiac sign. The timestamps are in the description box below. And I also leave them in a comment so that you can access the timestamps on mobile. In the description box as well is always an extended reading. Uh, this reading extends uh, not only what kind of romantic messages are going to be important to you and your zodiac sign for the weekend to come, um, but also who is coming toward you. So that's what the extended answer is. So if you're curious about that, that link is, is below in the description box is right by the timestamps for this video. Uh, we're going to move on right into it. We'll start at the top with... Scorpio, that's where I always stop. Shout out to my Scorpio tribe. Thank you for all your love and support always. So we're going to start with Scorpio at one. Yes, I do write the times. <laughs> I do write the timestamps down as I go so that I can include them as soon as I upload the video. So let's get right into this reading. Um, one thing new that I'm going to be adding is if I feel I have to clarify, I'm just going to clarify some of the cards with, uh, with, uh, with tarot, but that's it. You ready? Let's go, Scorpio. What are the love and romance messages that need to come through for you for this coming weekend and maybe even into the weekend after? Do something for someone, give your attention to another. This is quite difficult for us as water signs. We usually need other people to show us first that we care. But this is a message that's coming through that says, Scorpio, it is really, really important to take the first step or to demonstrate that you love somebody and how much you love them. It either has to do with your partner right now needing your attention for their own reasons. This isn't an accusation that you haven't been giving them affection. This is just a statement of there's going to be a need for you to be extra loving and extra demonstrative of how much you care into next weekend. Now, if you are totally single, this is simply a message that says you need to show that you're interested in somebody because you don't want to miss out. This could be a very shy person who is coming towards you. We will get into that is in the link below so we can describe their character a little bit more. But just as an example, it may very well be that this person who is just going to be so right to you and for you is probably a water sign too or there's some sort of there's some sort of placements in their chart that make them shy this is essential that you at least if not make the first move make it abundantly clear that you really care this sort of tender gentle sensuality is not necessarily one a field that you play in often but something about it is going to be working in your favor this coming weekend so Please do know that if you are tempted or thinking or you feel that somebody is worth is worth it somehow, trust your intuition and let them know. Even if it's just a hello, even if it's a casual conversation about something completely outside of romance, at least you're demonstrating that you see them, that you recognize them, that you are happy they're in the room. You don't have to come out and lay your feelings on the table. What will help this person a great deal is just that you pay attention to them. <laughs> you know, just that you you acknowledge that they're in the room and just that, you know, I, like, like I said, I think as soon as your eyes meet, there will be a connection. But there is definitely a need for you to be a little bit more vulnerable than you normally would at understanding compassion and caring is going to get you a long way this coming weekend. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is about healing. This is about forgiveness. Maybe you're forgiving a partner, an ex-partner, a former partner, whatever it is, there's a sense of 
you showing compassion, do something for someone, give your attention to another. Showing compassion is going to go a long way for you. Something about this compassionate action of yours is going to speak loudly to the person that needs to hear it. So it's either your person who just needs the extra tenderness, may not have anything to do with you, could have to do with a, a horrible week at work for them or conflicts they're having with other people. It's just your tenderness and your attention is going to matter so much and help them to heal what they're going through. And because you are a water sign, you have an incredible ability to heal people because you have such a connection to the psyche. You do have an incredible ability to heal. And so this is sort of a cry for help and an opportunity to help somebody and deepen your love for each other or help to plant a love. Uh, just the, your compassion in and of itself, the way that you take care of others and the way that you help others heal, it may not even be speaking directly to a person that you're helping. It just may be the demonstration of your tender side and of your concern for others that is going to speak volumes to somebody and make them notice you. This is also a sense of healing, the end of a, the end of things that are making you sad, things that are hurting you. In terms of romance, disappointment is about to come to an end. There's a tenderness that's being given to you as well. There's an understanding and a gentleness and a resolution, an ability to let go and not feel so much in pain anymore. Let go of the pain, let go of the hurt, the suffering being over. Now that doesn't mean the love of your life is going to come in. Not to say that they're going, not going to, but to say that it doesn't mean that they're not going to come in. What it does mean is that now you're in a place where you're happier with yourself. There's a gentleness and a healing and a cleansing that has happened for you that is going to put you back on a really strong ground of just feeling good and being your brightest self um, and not feeling so bogged down or hurt. Or, or disappointed anymore. A beautiful release is coming an end of a really difficult cycle for you and you will either be the healer or you will be the healed. Either way, there is some beautiful purifying healing going on that will open doors for a brand new beginning. Ooh, okay, yeah, and look at, I just saw this, the number 441, four plus one is Five, which is the number of change. So this is a beautiful change happening. Now this could also be somebody who hasn't showed you much compassion, showing you compassion and, and, and finally demonstrating their love to you instead of constantly holding it back. Um, you know, it, it could be the end of them trying to pretend like they don't really have feelings for you. And that may be happening too. And if that doesn't happen, like that will have nothing to do with you. It will happen on its own. And if it doesn't happen next weekend, it's probably because they don't have the feelings that you thought they did. And, and what is able to heal and you're able to let go of is waiting around for them to come around. And you finally realize not only should I not be waiting, it like, I don't need them. There's so many other people out there. I'm going to be okay and moving on. So either way, there's going to be healing that's coming into your life that really sets you up for a beautiful success and a wonderful new love to be able to come in. Okay, Sagittarius, let's go to nine. Sagittarius energy. The romances, the, I'm sorry, the messages for romance and love for you, Sagittarius. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Um, pretty, pretty open, right? Is demonstrate love for somebody, show it to them, but give it to them. Either um, give, give, give like material things. Even if it's taking somebody out to dinner and buying them dinner or... Um, this is also my engagement card. So what might be happening to you, Sagittarius, this coming weekend is engagement or a deepening of your relationship and some sort of exchange of physical token that represents that change or that level up in your relationship. But this is, this is definitely somebody 
sort of opening their heart to you and showing you how special they are that showing how special you are to them or vice versa because this could be you doing it to them too um, with a physical gift you know um, on some levels it could be somebody has owed you something and they're finally coming back around to give you what they deserve like what give you what you deserve like a resolution or some sort of reconciliation not that you would be getting back together with this person, but that if they caused you pain or suffering or some kind of hurt in the past, there's just an acknowledgement, an outward acknowledgement that I was too harsh on you and I shouldn't have done that. And here, here's some uh, compensation. Not that they're going to give you money, but that, that there's some sort of physical 3D exchange that acknowledges that they were wrong and they were too rough on you type of that that's only for a very select group but i feel that coming through too the bottom line is next week is a time when gift giving is going to matter it's going to represent the emotions that are going on underneath the surface of caring, of people thinking about you, of sort of emotional balance and harmony. This also could be somebody donating to you a pearl of wisdom. This could be that too. This um, little tidbit of information or care to share moment where it kind of like a light bulb goes on in your head and even though it's not a physical thing, it's something that actually changes you. It, it's something that actually helps to wake you up or realize something. It's a piece of information that you needed. Yes, this is all in relation to relation romantic relationships. Um, so it would be in the vein of romance or attraction to somebody, um, uh, you know, or uh, somebody's attraction to you finally coming out and finally becoming very evident. Like you're not gonna be able to deny that this person cares about you or wants you when you see their demonstration or you hear what they have to say to you. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. Whoa, okay, so this deepens the pot, doesn't it? This is, you see the, the circular pearl that's represented on both cards is you honestly thought that this would never happen. This could be you setting your date for your wedding um, after a long time of stagnation of not being able to decide when or a lot of things getting in your way. This could be you finally getting engaged even though you were toddling, you were teetering on back and forth of are we going to break up? Are we going to make up? Are we even going to stay together? This could also be somebody that you never expected really wanting you or caring about you coming forward and saying to you, I care about you. I can't stop thinking about you. I really want to be with you. Um, this is how I really feel. Or about, like I said, this kind of deepens the pot when, you know, for that little group that, you know, maybe getting that sort of reconciliation or compensation of some sort, there is definitely that energy of you never thought this would happen. You didn't think this person would let up. You didn't think this person would forgive. You didn't think this person would move on. Um, but they are like out of, it's almost, I would say out of the blue because this is a blue moon out of the blue, this feeling, these feelings from somebody else come into our lives. And remember coming on next weekend, uh, we have the new moon, the full moon in coming up next week. So we have the full moon in Leo that's happening on the 9th. And then of course we're coming upon Valentine's day. So there is a sort of amorous, there's a sort of amorous energy that is electrifying the air starting next weekend. And so it could be just an intensification of emotions. And there's going to be something that comes out that you honestly is going to sideswipe you. So that's really interesting. Who, who would be coming towards you? So that link is below. That would be an interesting discussion to try to figure that one out. Um, but it's going to be blatant. It's going to be obvious. And there's probably going to be, like I said, some sort of physical representation that this is actually going to happen. It's not just a thought. It's not just a rumor. Um, like I said, for some of you, you could just hear a pearl of wisdom that kind of strikes and clicks something off in your head. And, and that's your gift uh, from the universe. So for some of you, that may be happening. But I think for most of you, it's an actual, some sort of 3D material abundant representation of, and honestly, it's going to knock your socks out. Because I mean, with this card is like, 
out of the blue. Like, why is this person being nice to me? Why is this person doing something for me? Why is this person reaching out to me or showing me that they have any affection for me whatsoever? I never thought this person would even be thinking of me, yada, yada, yada. It's going to surprise you, you know? Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna surprise you, um, but it's going to be without a doubt. It's, there's if there's not not going to be any ambiguity it's going to be very easy to tell what this person means because there's going to be some sort of show and tell you know um so yeah if you're curious about who this person is <laughs> click that link below all right Sagittarius then we have Capricorn Capricorn Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you guys this weekend. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Okay. There's an ending to a long cycle that's coming soon. This is very Aquarian energy where, you know, just like the beautiful and the impossible happen in the same person. I don't know if this is about a breakup or missing somebody or just feeling those feelings that you need to feel in order to uh, be able to let those that sadness go. There is essentially healing. Once again, Scorpio got healing energy as well. There is a healing that's going to be going on, but for you, it's going to be very internal. So what this tells me is it's got something to do with a relationship from the past. It's got something to do with um, just, just, you've been angry, you've been hurt, you've been, and it's been causing you a lot of suffering. And this is a weekend where you finally are able to break down and let all those vulnerable emotions out, not necessarily to this person, though some of you could get a chance to actually see your person and break down in front of them. In fact, I would highly suggest that if you do run into them, that you allow them to see exactly what they're feeling, what you're feeling. Do not put up that stoic wall or hide things or feel vulnerable or weak because to, to this week, this weekend, your vulnerabilities and your weaknesses actually are your greatest strength to show and demonstrate how much you cared, you know, how much they meant to you and to just literally allow yourself to break down. Be your own best friend, you know, don't, don't hold back for their sake or because of this fight that you're fighting in your own brain and you can't let them see how you feel because then they win and bull. Just let that go. Like, let it go. Embrace every single aspect of those beautiful, vulnerable, what you might consider weak emotions. Just let them pour out of you. There's healing that has to happen. And this is part of the healing process. And there's this beautiful energy of just this self-acceptance and, and showing your softer side that's actually going to liberate you and free you. And bring out a part of you that it says to the universe, hey, I'm ready for love. I'm ready for my unicorn to come to me. This is my person that you never, this is my unicorn card. The unicorn cards, there are two in this deck. And it's like that special person that you never thought you'd have in your life. This could be feelings of missing them, of wanting them back, of wondering if they feel the same thing about you, of um, of just dreaming about them. This is that this is that energy of your unicorn, your unicorn. But you know what? You know, um, yeah. This you know, whoever you thought was your unicorn may not have been. Right. And so your unit, that means your unicorn is still out there. So really, really allow yourself to feel those feelings that need to happen. Those special feelings or that person, that person that you could trust and like sink yourself into. I just feel this energy of you being able to be vulnerable and weak around somebody this coming weekend. Interesting. Have faith in your dreams. What have you been dreaming? I mean, I, then I would ask you, this is one of my favorite cards, um, Capricorn, what have you been dreaming and who have you been dreaming of? And what what are those feelings that you feel? What are the feelings that you feel when you dream about them or when you think about them? This is also about um, your dream person. Have faith that this person is out there because clearly they are. That's why the cards are calling you to just have faith that the, that. Yeah, it's almost like your unicorn is coming back into your life. There is this, this, uh, and I don't think, that, I don't think that it's the person you think it is, but when, when they come back into your life, I, I almost think that you're, you're, 
if, if this makes any sense to you, you're being softened up or tenderized for your real unicorn that's coming into your life because it's going to be your vulnerability that connects them to you immediately. Now, who is this person? Well, that question is answered in the, I know I'm like a <laughs> sales person. I'm sorry. Um, the who's coming towards you is in the link below. So if you're really curious about who this person is and, and finding out that link is in the extended, the, that link is below. That's the extended. But for right now, this is, this is a feeling of this, this person needs to see that softness. This person, the fact that you sort of let loose and cry all over them or just demonstrate and gush and just are bubbling over with excitement and enthusiasm for them is actually going to, I think, I don't see you gushing or bubbling over, but it's like showing somebody how much they matter to you is going to go a long way. And I feel like, I just feel like there's going to be this magic moment next weekend where this person comes into your life that almost seems like it was the impossible. I know that you feel that you like you have this person in your mind already. There's a sense of confirmation to these two cards that your unicorn is coming into your life. They are still a reality for you. This is, this is just an opening of you uh, to prepare for them and to be ready for them. And listen, Capricorn, this is asking you to have faith. It's not asking you to make plans. It's not asking you to make moves. It's not asking you to make waves or get this done. It's asking you to be passive. That's what new moons are. They're the open cup. It's asking you to be ready to be filled. Mm, I heard it. I heard it, Capricorn. <laughs> It's asking you to be ready to be filled, to get prepared to be, to be filled up. Of course, there's always that, you, you know, unicorn is a, that the horn on the unicorn is always a symbol for a phallic symbol, you know? So this is like that magic that maybe some of you have been hoping for. Um, but, but there's, it's more than that. I'm telling you right now, you're not, you're going to be blindsided. You're not going to know or see this coming but it's also not going to shock you. What I'm saying is this person is going to arrive at just the right time. And I feel like I would not be surprised if when you feel the lowest and when you're mourning and crying to yourself at night or into your pillow or, you know, punching a punching bag and just letting all those emotions out, if that's when you find a text from somebody that you haven't heard of in a while or a ping comes through that is from, you know, a new hit on whatever you know dating app you're on or or you get some sort of message of hey come to dinner with your friends and it's at dinner that you meet this person i i'm i'm telling you the turnover is going to be rapid fire and i just feel that there is this energy of this breeze bringing this person into your life um springtime is going to be very different for you capricorn even though i don't think you could probably believe that right now it's going to be very different for you and it's going to be in a good and beautiful and lovely way so remain open and receptive it's going to be difficult for you i know i know because a lot of you have been feeling a lot of heartache and disappointment but that's but then how do you break through your defensiveness is the tears are going to break through it's like they're just going to come through and sort of almost almost like defend you and break through for you and just sort of just like, you know, pierce through whatever wall or barrier you've, you've been putting up, which is going to leave you in the perfect position that you need to be in for the love that's coming into you. Ooh, okay. Aquarius. Aquarius. Um, Aquarius. Let's see. Love endures. What is this? Four plus three equals seven. Some sort of creation, some sort of maybe love affair that you've been having for quite some time, a love affair that you've been in for quite some time. And this is its lasting, enduring. Excuse me. Um, you're making up, you're patching up, you're healing. There's a lot of healing going on next weekend. That's why it's a common, it's a common thread of being able to patch over some things in your relationship that have been hurting the relationship or that have been making it suffer. But there's some sort of steadfast to this steadfastness to this relationship that helps to 
that helps to heal, that helps to get the both of you through some sort of revelations or conversations that need to be had that's helping the two of you uh, work out any issues that you had, that you love them anyway, plain and simple, and that there is this support of this person doesn't want to leave you, doesn't want to go away, and vice versa, of sticking together. This is also the energy for people who are not in relationships of this uh, but I do feel like there's some sort of building of a relationship. And even if this relationship hasn't been officiated yet, there seems to be this sense of you, um, you're working on something with somebody. It could be you're traveling. This could be you're traveling and you meet somebody. This could be they're traveling to see you. This could be a long distance relationship that is enduring because of the fact that uh, you choose simply because of the choice your you have the both of you have decided to make this work finally being able to get to see one or the other or being in each other's presence maybe you haven't been around each other for a long time there's also this sense of of you haven't really officiated the relationship or come out about it or or really really confirmed it yet and you're still working on it behind the scenes but there's some sort of decision or lasting um yeah just lasting steadfastness it's that the love is coming first it's it's about the two of you it's not about everybody else and whatever obstacles or conflicts that have been happening between you lately it's a decision to put the two of you first and yeah, and to just travel with each other and stick by each other's side. There is some sort of traveling going on here. Um, a long distance, I keep getting it. I don't know if you guys are Skyping or, um, sorry about that. I don't know if you guys are Skyping or Facebook Messenger or so, like something like that. It It's just this energy of, of it working, it working out. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. I also think for some of you, you haven't given up on love even though you're single. This is an energy of, I just haven't been able to find that one. I haven't been able to find my person, but I still believe in love. And so you're still open and keeping yourself open. And it's almost like you're just moving on day to day. I don't think that you're thinking about the future. I think that you're thinking about the present and I think that that present thought includes the belief that you're going to find that person someday. Um, there might be a wondering in the back of your mind of, um, you know, who is this person? When am I ever going to meet them? Um, there might be that, but there's no doubt. That's what I'm saying. I think that's the important part. There's no doubt. There is this, there's this um, certainty. There's a certainty toward your understanding that the person is out there somewhere and that they're coming into your life. Once again, this is that energy of four plus three, which is seven of creation. Maybe this is a recognition that, you know, they're being created or they're being prepared for you or that they're definitely out there somewhere. The energy of knowing that something is still in the works. I think that you're absolutely certain that uh, a beautiful love is either already in your life or is something that you have to fight for, is worth fighting for, or is coming your way. And there's a confidence to you. It's almost a confidence, I think, that is led by an intuition. You may not understand it, but it's leading you into the direction of it. That's really... Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. This is really awesome complimentary energy for you, for you, um, for this card. Um what I say, you are in the present moment, Aquarius. You are in the here and the now. You have found a level of peace with your relationship to love and romance. If you're curious about who's coming towards you, about what their characteristics may be, <laughs> you just want sort of like a, a little peek, that link is below in the extended video. You can check that out. That's going to be time stamped too. But overall, Aquarius, you have really found a peace with this circumstance and situation about love and romance in your life. You're not, you're just, there's, you're not letting it get you down. You're finding a perfect wave and you're riding it. There could very well, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> I said, I have such a dirty mind. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I heard it. Um, yeah, that, that's just this energy, this energy of, of, um, I'm not, it's almost like you've made a decision to not put a label on it, put a stamp on it. 
or to disregard it or block it out, you are really just living it up in the present right here. Right now, you're just enjoying this moment. I do feel, I'm telling you right now, I do feel that there is a little bit of a premonition that, that you know at one point you're going to have to decide. That's all I can, that's a message that's coming through. You're going to have to say it or do it or label it eventually you kind of know that um that could be causing some of you may be picking up on that vibration but uh that could come to you in pisces season you know that energy of okay now fill me up like what is this really what is this going to be um but then again not really i mean I think that you you may be dealing with a Pisces. Once once again, we can get into their zodiac sign and the extended, but there is this sense of right here, right now, being in complete and total harmony with your potential partner, with your emotions, with one or the other, with both, um, probably with both if you have a partner, um, but definitely just feeling really happy with where you are right now. And I th I'm I'm telling you right now, intuitively, I know it's because you have a real a firm hook or tether into the future. There is a glimpse there that you know what's coming. There's a sense of real hope and excitement for the future. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. All right. We go on to Pisces 3109. Pisces. Let's see what messages need to come through for you. Simple acts of kindness. It's interesting because um, Scorpio got this counterpart. So kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Hmm. A demonstration of love, a need for caring, a need to... This is five too. It's an energy of change. Simple acts of kindness. I really do believe that this is you allowing others to take care of you, Pisces, of you, because this is your energy, right? This is definitely you wanting to always help people, care about people, worry about people, think about people, heal people, give to people. I mean, you've been giving a lot of yourself. So this is an energy of, okay, when are people going to fill me up? Like, when are they going, like... It's not an expectation though. This is a just, this is the timing that that's what this is. It's the synchronicity of the timing and the alignment of your next weekend. You're going to really, it, it, I don't think it's going to be a lot of people. I think the people who really care about you and really have any potential or right to stay in your life will be an energy of this person who is caring and giving. You know what I'm feeling to be totally blatant with you? I honestly feel Pisces that you're going to feel a lack of this in your life next weekend. You're going to be in the process of giving and sharing and caring and providing for other people, but there's going to be an emptying. And I feel like you're going to become painfully aware of the emptying that is happening in your life next weekend of, of not wanting. No, you don't want to stop caring. You don't want to stop giving. Um, and you're not going to, but there's this painful awareness of, I need some tenderness in my life for me. Like I need the love. I need the understanding. I need the person who doesn't ask. They just do and they give and I don't have to constantly pursue and, um, look for or ask for or need, um, simple acts of kindness. Let me see this, this card, nothing will come of this situation void of course. Okay. So whoever you have been trying to make something work with, whoever you have been putting your all into, there is a sense of this is a waste of your energy and a waste of your time. There is a sense of cut off here or cut somebody off and, and maybe set a boundary, a healthy boundary where there is a limit established to just how much you're willing to give to people and give to others, especially a specific person. There is an ask here from the universe to Pisces, stop, stop giving yourself away and spend next weekend either by yourself alone, healing yourself, spoiling yourself, taking care of yourself, or just, um, no, I, I think that's what it is. It's almost like 
there's a sense of you being drained by somebody who you want to be special, but they're not as special as you think they are. There is that energy. It's really this, it is really interesting energy because Scorpio, like I said, it got a really interesting, got this one, do something for someone, you know? And then this card shows up in your pile, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So I think it's kindness being done to you because something is about to be over. Something is about to be, it's almost like it was, it got to be too much on the other side. And that the only thing that's going to save a relationship or somebody that you're interested in is by somebody demonstrating to you, I care, I, I get, I care about you um, because it's been a long time coming. For some of you, I'm not sure that it's actually going to matter at this point. It may be just, um, it may just be, you know, um, too far gone, uh, unfortunately. Um, um, but it also is just telling about what have you learned from this and what have, what have you, how have you been able to make yourself stronger and grow? And, um, I honestly, can I tell you something? Honestly, Pisces, I don't see you changing. I see, I don't see you changing. I see you wanting to be a person who gives and shares because that's in your nature. The problem is there are people who will give and share to you too. There are people who will be very kind to you. It's sussing somebody out for their kindness. It's kindness really standing out to you. It's kindness being mattering to you more than other things that might tempt you away from that long-term fulfillment that you'll feel with somebody's kindness toward you. But this is just you being done. This is an energy of you it being it being over with, of you you being tired of being the one that is kind all the time, that cares all the time, that, ta <clears throat> that takes care of all the time. Um, if you're curious about who this person is or you know more information about the situation, that link is below Pisces. But there's definitely this energy of just done is done you yeah you may be cutting somebody off completely that just to let you know because void of course is a very blatant energy and it's also full moon so it's like letting go letting go letting go letting go letting go it could also be letting go of somebody who just doesn't feel right for you even though they're a good person if that makes sense to any of you um but I think mostly it's you cutting off because we got this in one of your last readings too. So I think you've been suffering from the case of uh, a vampire type of energy, just like somebody who is grown dependent upon you to hand feed them. And it's, it's not good enough for you anymore. Yep. Aries. Let's go on to Aries energy. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. I love this. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but we'll, who is coming towards you? That's in the uh, description box below. If you're curious, you can um, click that link below. But this is definitely, and I say Sagittarius because of the archer. Um... Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. God, you know, so many people have been getting this. This energy of demonstrate how you care about each other. But I think that this is you almost naturally demonstrating how much you care about each other. And showing and being the one who's bold and being the one who's out there with, I'm worried about you. I'm thinking about you. But I also think that there's a need for you to see that coming from somebody else. It's almost like, where's my white knight? Where's my shining armor? You know, where's that person who supports me and takes care of me who I can lean on? I always think of either Libra or Virgo when I see this energy too, of somebody who's very, very dependent, maybe attracting people who are very dependent and who need you. But this is also about understanding and compassion and having an open ear and an open heart. I don't feel like you actually want to. I do. I feel like almost there's this warrior stance to you of, um, I don't really want to be considerate right now, but at the same time, you are, you are, there's something about this circumstance or situation that 
you're just trying to take care of somebody. You're just trying to help where you need to be helped. But underlying that, when I'm sorry, you're trying to help where help is needed, especially if you're in a long-term relationship with somebody. But there is a sense of, I need to be supported, a realization of this isn't good enough right now. I need to be the one that's taken care of. I need to be the one that's supported. Now, some of you may be feeling this for the first time in a long time, feeling like you're swept off your feet and really cared for by somebody who, because no, normally people don't take care of you. Normally it's the other way around. And, and I think this is a realization that that's what you're really looking for. Um, that's a distinguishing factor in what you want in a person of the person who makes, takes care of me, the person who sweeps me off my feet, the person who makes me feel like the damsel in distress, even though I never am, but it's like that energy of, I want to be whisked away. Now, some of you may be getting whisked away next weekend. This is definitely Cupid, draw back. This is the energy of Cupid showing up. Cupid and Psyche, sort of a forbidden love affair, if you will. Um, but at any rate, it's, it's Cupid. It's Cupid coming in with his angel's wings, swooping down with his gloriousness and his beautifulness and picking you and choosing you. So you may, Aries, be struck by Cupid's bow. Um, and the presence of Uranus back there in the background, that's really interesting because uh, Uranus rules Aquarius. So there's that. <laughs> there's that energy of, um, yeah, there's some sort of potential here. There's some sort of uh, timing and synchronicity that could be happening to you and you getting a little arrow in the butt from Cupid. In other words, it's about damn time. That's what it's about. This is a sense of it's about time. I need my Cupid. I need the arrow in my butt. <laughs> I need I need some some newness in my life. Um and and getting it. Some sort of some sort of Cupid coming through, a love, a new love, something that you probably didn't see or realize. There's a lot of blindsidedness. Go go watch a few of the other signs, Aries. There's a lot of blindsidedness. Capricorn got this too. This could be Saturn in the background. This could be a Capricorn energy, but there's a sense of it's time. It's time for you. It's your time. It's your time to get this love affair, to be whisked away. The timing is right. The timing is perfect. There's lots of love in the air and it's coming through for you. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Now we just had a new moon in Aquarius, right? Hello. Um, so what kind of set off, what was set off in that, on that new moon? I would have to ask you because, you know, whoever, who, what happened on that new moon? Um, what happened? Whatever it was sort of set the scene for what is to come. Say you broke up with somebody. Well, that cleared out the space so that this person could come in. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there was a reason behind it. Say somebody asked you to level up your relationship, there is a sense of the next step happening and it coming in because of what happened near the there near the Aquarius new moon. Um, there is a sense of love coming toward you. How can I say that any other way? Um, Aries, this is really good news. This is love coming towards you of a real Cupid, a real Deb. I'm just feeling real debonair, real dashing, real beautiful, real like everything you're looking for right now. Um, I don't know how long this person is going to last, but I have a feeling that they're going to swoop in with this energy of kind of like uh, fleeting, fleeting energy, but they're going to surprise you. There's going to be some sort of surprise when it comes to these this energy bringing to you somebody who actually turns out to be a lot more substantive than you imagine them to be. Because if you know the tale of Psyche and Cupid, she couldn't see him. She couldn't look at him. She had to just have faith that he was there. He couldn't reveal himself to her. So as she was falling in love, it really had to be having faith in what she felt about this person. Because by the looks of it, there was something shady. There was something going on. There was something not right. But in the end, ultimately, everything worked out. Everything was right. And so they are right for each other. And I feel like this person that's coming in, love is coming in for you. And I feel like... um. Yeah, love is coming in for you. And I feel like this person is actually the right person for you. Five plus nine, I mean, four plus five uh, equals nine, which is uh, the energy of something coming to conclusion, something coming to a head. 
And I feel like it is this, this feeling of where are they, where are they, where are they, constantly asking that question and you're going to get that answer. This could also be a truth coming out with regards to your current relationship, demonstrating and expressing love to each other and that going a long way. And the way that you'd be doing it, Aries, is by sticking up for them and defending them and showing them if they're going through a hard situation. You're not even going to question them. You're going to have faith in them and you're just going to be on their side and defend them to everybody that walks in your vicinity. That's the kind of demonstration of love this person is going to need from you this coming weekend. FYI. Okay. Um, like I said, if you're curious about finding out who this person is or like anything about them, that description, that link is in the description box below. Okay. We have 45 Taurus. All right, Taurus. Here we go. What is your energy? Taurus, you have been on an upswing. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Go watch, go watch your Taurus tarot from that I just finished up for you guys, it is off the hook. One of the best readings and happiest readings I've ever done at all for anybody, especially for you guys. I apologize. And this card just confirms that more of that is coming. And the energy of 13, three plus one is four, solid, stable, something that you can really rely on. Lots of different opportunities could be coming to you, but miracles and blessings, which means you didn't expect, but maybe you prayed, um, you've been manifest, just good stuff is flowing, flowing your way. And if you see really closely with this card, she has a lot of different options that are coming to her way. And I think that this may be either a, sim a sign of many different options, many different suitors, a lot of different people coming your way, or just a lot of abundance coming your way, especially if you're already in a relationship. There is a sense of just happiness coming to the both of you, of good news coming in, and the two of you having a lot to celebrate, or... Um, if you have one person in particular that you're dating or that you have on your mind, opportunities to be with them, spend time with them. Um, yeah, yeah, like hang out with them and stuff. It's like, it's just coming into your direction. This is happiness. <laughs> what can I say? Um, the, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anymore. A new romantic cycle began. I mean, I... I mean, I hate to say this, this is going to be a real short reading for you guys. If you're curious about who is coming towards you, that link is below Taurus. But this is it. This is you're receiving a great love, love, Venetian energy. Venus is, Mama Venus is favoring you and you are ruled by Venus as well. But this is definitely love and romance side of Venus. Not just, you're like more the material, beauty, attractiveness side of Venus. Libra is that relationship side, the connection to others. You know, that's what it is. It's coming into you so if you're looking for a relationship next weekend is going to be an exceptional weekend for you um all of cupid's arrows are flying in the right direction for you this is about finding a balanced love in other words um so you you feel the same as they feel it's 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 not like somebody it's not like you're going to get all these options or all these opportunities from people that you don't care about or have no interest in this is you actually really getting attention and getting opportunity to spend time share time and get attention from the person that you really do want attention from oh my god Taurus, this is so this is freaking off the hook i'm just gonna lay it lay it bare this is all about love and romance and a relationship starting or your relationship taking like the front page like i'm sorry stepping out in front and being a priority this coming weekend. And the two of you maybe just really indulging in each other and being able to spend some glorious time together. But it says a new romantic cycle begins. So this is, this is predominantly for people who don't have anybody right now or are not in a relationship or have been in a in an unfulfilling relationship, this beautiful new romantic cycle reinvigorates your current relationship or it just brings in all these opportunities. You're meeting somebody next weekend. I'm telling you, this is like, this is a real romantic, real romantic period. And I feel like it's going to start out with you having a lot of options. Maybe you're going out, maybe you're being social, maybe you're dancing. Your dance card is filled at first and through this, you're going to get a real find. Like something is going to finally come to you, like a real breakthrough. Or if you've had that special person on your mind, oh my God. Ooh, if you've had that special person on your mind, this, I'm, this is it. This, next weekend. I just... <laughs> 
Ooh, leave the comments below because you know I want to know. Okay, Taurus, let's move on to Gemini. 32, okay, Gemini. Ooh, well, let's see. Hold on. Let's go. What these energies are, Gemini. Ooh, spend quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. Um, there's romance coming in your in your life. Look at this. This is definitely the card of actually tangibly, tactfully being able to talk to somebody. I don't. I don't being able being together with somebody like physically demonstrating your love. I know that Pisces. No, 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 no. It wasn't Pisces. It's Aquarius. Um, Sagittarius. It was Sagittarius. Are you involved with the Sag? Um, because there was an energy of them being able them them. They got demonstrating through uh, like a physical exchange of a gift or something like that. But for you guys, this is an energy of actually being able to spend quality time together. Finally being able to be in the presence of somebody that you're really psyched about. That really turns you on, energizes you, that ushy gushy. I feel like something's just starting. This is the starry eyed phase of your relationship or, um, yeah, a starry eye and you're like your first dates, your, you know, your first kisses, um, making out in a car, <laughs> like that kind of energy, like all that really fun, exciting stuff. This is an energy. Of course, the, um, the tree could also mean that this is a memory of the two of somebody of you and like, uh, the memory of the two of you being together of, of how it was when you were younger, when it was fresh, when it was new. So it's either actually currently happening right now or effectually it's coming back full force. Um, I think Mercury retrograde is, is going to be happening soon too, just FYI. So this could be the nostalgia that's coming up. No, Mercury retrograde I think is happening in about three weeks. So this energy is definitely taking us into that shadow period right before we go into the retrograde. So it, there could be some sort of nostalgia coming back in of when you were younger, when things were innocent, of you and somebody that you had in your life that you were really in love with. And maybe for some reason you're thinking about them. I'm not saying that you're going to see them. I'm just saying that it's those memories that are coming back to you. And I feel a warmth coming through a, a happiness with the memories of you almost needing the warmth of those romantic tender memories to come back into your life right now. There is a sense that it's the perfect time for you to remember that, for you to reconnect with those romantic feelings, or this is the, your time. Like this is maybe maybe you're in the presence of people who are younger than you or you know they're reminding you of what you used to feel or what you used to go through you know and that's what's bringing the nostalgia up um it could be generational one of your kids is going through this for the first time and it reminds you of you and your spouse or you know whoever their parent was you know what i'm there's some there's some sort of um catalyst for nostalgia coming back in and reminding you of those yesteryear, or it's not your yesteryear, it's your right year right now, right here, right here, it's your here year. Um, Gemini, this is the energy of you actually being able to be in that time of your life when you're getting a lot of a chance to spend time with a person that you really are in love with and you're falling and you can feel the warmth and you can feel the excitement. And it's those like first few months of a relationship where everything is just high romance. Everything is sweet and everything smells delicious and everything is perfect and it just feels right. So this is one of those times in your life to just really, I mean... Uh, just enjoy it because there's so much beauty here and there's so much innocence to the beauty really being in perfect harmony and finding a wonderful perfect balance and somebody to share twilight time with this isn't this isn't dark this isn't so much sensual there's a lot of sexual chemistry here yeah but this is that is an innocent stage this is the twilight time this is this is dusk right? This is, um, this is when the sun is just setting, but there's still those romantic colors in the sky. This is the, the vanilla sky is time that beautiful, romantic La Vie en Rose type, type of day type of moment. Um, oh, wow. I'm really curious about what your moonology card is. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So hello, this is telling me this is a new relationship. Um, or this is something that you have to I've been getting this a lot for a lot of signs, Gemini, of 
needing to say something, needing to do something. If you want this, you have to put something out. You have not, I heard it. It was a Phil Dumphy moment. No, you don't have to put out, but you have to like demonstrate or show or go for it. You have to go for it. You have to say, you have to do. There's action that's needed for you to get to this beautiful moment. So if you have somebody on your mind, it's a calling them. It's an asking them out. You're the master communicator. So you're the one that's going to know and feel most comfortable with being able to make the first move. Do it because this is what's waiting for you. And what a beautiful reward. What a beautiful thing to have waiting for you. So this is your sign. This is your message, Gemini. Do it. Make that phone call. Text that person. Ask them out. Ask them out on the date. You are going to get, a, of course, because everybody wants to be, date you, right? Um, you're going to get the response that you want. And you're also going to get that really romantic, beautiful, something's getting started feeling. This is something new. This is this, or this is you. Like I said, if you're one of the nostalgia group, this is you taking action on all those memories, maybe calling somebody that you haven't called in a long time or reaching out to them or wanting to let them know that you're thinking about them or showing up on their doorstep randomly. This is, this is maybe you being um, almost spontaneously incited or inspired to um, reconnect with somebody or reach out to somebody or, you know, not much thought. You haven't put much thought into this, right? This is, this is spontaneity um, coming through to just basically um, show up and arrive on somebody's doorstep or um, call somebody out of the blue. There's a lot of out of the blue stuff happening. And I, you don't want to know why? It's because Valentine's Day is messing us up. There's like a lot of romantic, like, like fumes in the air it's getting to all of our brains and for you gemini it's definitely coming out in the sense of sensuality and doing something that you normally wouldn't do or that only you would have the balls to do this is you uh knowing that you're going to be well received or not thinking twice about it and completely and totally just getting wrapped up in the moment and then eventually somebody else is going to be carried away in that moment with you so this is really beautiful energy for you um there's a lot of chemistry here. There's a lot of sexual chemistry. Anytime Aries or Mars energy is present, it's very uh, visceral and vital and you can feel it and it's, the air is thick with the honey sweetness of sexual chemistry. So it's not even just about blatant uh, sexuality. It's about, it's about the supercharge of of not thinking of it not being a pragmatic decision you're making of it you just ramming your way through and, and moving forward and acting on impulse and acting on instinct this is this is this is uh it's just going to be a real good weekend for you. It not only, but see, the thing is this, it's not just going to be a good weekend for you. It's going to be a good next couple of months. This is an energy that will start off a really beautiful, romantic time for you so that by the time that you get to springtime, it's all lovey-dovey, kissy-kissy sweetness or yeah, or yeah, 57, 57. There's some sort of divine counterpart happening to you, Gemini. I don't know if you expected this, but I know that you're not going to let this ship pass you by. You're, you're hopping right on board. Um, so if you're curious about who is coming towards you, that link is below. That would be really interesting. That's really, really nice information to have. Um, it's right in the description box below. I hope to see you over there. All right, let's go on to Cancer. Let's see what the reading has in store for you, Cancerian Energy. Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Five, the energy of one plus four is change is coming into your life. Okay. Cancerians. It's hard for us, I think, to open ourselves up and let ourselves be vulnerable. We're, we're we, us in Scorpio, and maybe even Capricorn have very, very difficult times being vulnerable in front of people. Um, this is that energy of 
it's not even romance. It's not even going to start out as romance is what I'm saying is you just need to be brave enough to ask somebody who knows better than you for help. And it's going to introduce you or open the floodgates up to them really opening their eyes to you and wanting you in different ways. But it's, it's that you need to take the first step and say, not that I love you. I don't think, I, I, I'm not even feeling like you even know that this is somebody who can offer a great deal of help to you. Professional help, social help, some sort of help outside of romance. This is somebody that you will feel an instantaneous chemical reaction between the two of you as soon as you get into their presence. There's somebody who's more experienced than you. They may be chronologically older than you, but who they are, that's answered in the extended. If you're curious, you can go over there. The link is in the description box. But this as far as his energy is concerned, this, it doesn't matter about their chronological age. What matters is that they're more experienced than you. And I've gotten this message for you a couple of times in the past couple of months. So listen up because it's now it's coming to a head. This is somebody who really wants to help you and really can help you. There's an opportunity here. Now, as soon as you meet this person, you're going to know, wow, that they're attractive. Um, wow, they're, um, um, ooh, yeah, wow, they're impressive or, and you're going to probably think they're too good for me. They're never going to see me. They're never going to want me. There's no way that I would stand out to them. Now this energy could be reversed too. Okay. It could also be somebody asking you for help and you picking up on a vibe that's happening between the two of you. Understand that it's really difficult for somebody who is being asked to help to be the one to make the first move because it almost puts them in a compromised position of aggressing on somebody who's vulnerable. So this is going something that's going to have to set very still, go very slow. But this is somebody with a very protective energy, somebody who wants to defend you and take care of you and protect you. You'll feel safe in their presence. You'll want to open up to them. They, you trust, you trust them. You trust what they think. You trust their their opinions. You 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 know that they have a wisdom um, about them that is something that you need in your life. So that's something that you feel very comfortable opening yourself up to when it comes to them. Cancers, you you feel very comfortable acknowledging openly how impressed you are with their success, how impressed you are with their wisdom and their insights, how impressed you are with everything that they've accomplished and how you really do want to openly say, can you teach me? Can you help me? I want to know more. This is also something coming through for you. You're going to be given assistance. If you have asked for it already, it's coming to you next weekend. If you haven't, be vocal. This is the weekend. This is like last chance. Ask for it because you're going to receive it. The universe is going to respond. Maybe not next weekend, but it will respond in time. And I think that for those of you who have already asked for help and been very vocal about it or, you know, put yourself out there, you're getting help. There's something coming through, but I'm telling you, there's going to be romantic chemistry between the two of you. There's some sort of more than just what it starts out as coming through for you guys next weekend. And this could be another water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, because there's a lot of water energy here coming through really strong. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse bam you just gotta bam like flat out straight up cancers the help that you've been asking for is coming through the change that you've been asking for is coming through this is universe responding this is change is not gonna come change has come change is upon us there might be i don't know if there's an eclipse happening too that would be interesting to find out um uh, i know i should have all my facts together but no this is about, uh, I feel like this change is unexpected and I think that it is definitely something you've asked for constantly, but you're not going to see this coming. Your, your energy and, and, and focus is going to be in different directions. I think that you're, I honestly feel you're not even being focused on love and romance next weekend. And that's when it's going to hit you and strike you. And I think it's going to hit and strike, like I said, in this, through this back doorway where it's like this connection with this person wasn't even supposed to be about that. It's that that's how it's coming to you. This is really interesting. I'm I'm curious about who's coming toward us. Um, 
big change, big change when it comes to, especially if you're the one like Pisces, I would look at Pisces and Scorpio's readings this week, definitely, because Pisces was always about giving and giving and giving and asking and, and, and somebody always asking them for help. So if you have always been on the receiving end and the needy end and constantly asking, the big change could be they're putting up a wall. They're blocking you out. They're saying, I'm sick of you depending on me for everything, especially for your own happiness. And you're going to get a, a door closed in your face. The bottom line is there's a change to your current situation. So if you have allowed yourself to be that codependent person that's always needing somebody else to be around them and take care of them and care for them, maybe not even financially, but just especially emotionally. If you have been emotionally needy, there's going to be a fire back coming to you. Like, bam, it's going to come like smack you. Like, stop, stop. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm done. Like, I, I would see that coming for you guys too. Um, that could be a definite possibility. It's emotionally, there's going to be a huge shift. So if you have not been connected to somebody or not getting help, there's going to be a huge shift with that help and that person is going to come into you. But if you have been really clingy and really depending hardcore on somebody, they're going to smack back and they're going to shut a door in your face. So it's a change is coming. So whatever this like almost diametric opposite shift that you've been having in your life is like, it, are you, are you getting shut out because you've been asking for too much or is the door getting swung open and you're getting sucked in because you haven't asked for anything at all. And now it's all coming to you. I mean, I guess it's a different difference of perspective, you know, and whether you're a cross watcher or not, you know, cross watchers may see something completely different for their Cancerian, but this is definitely a huge shift coming and you can feel it coming. Cancerians, I don't, I think this is going to blindside you. I don't think you are going to be the ones that are going to be able to feel it. I think it's the cross watcher that can feel right now because there's somebody that's hooked into your energy. I, that's what I'm saying right now. There's already, whether you know them, they're already watching you or they're already in your life and you don't know that they're feeling this way, right? Because it, it's not convenient for you to, to let it in your brain, but you're going to be smacked hardcore with this emotional truth. That's, that's going to flip you upside down or in some cases, turn you right side up finally. So this could be like with eclipses, intense energy, very, very good or very, very bad. What you can, what you can depend upon is romantically, sexually, and in terms of romantic love, there is going to be a diametric shift this coming weekend. Change. Expect, I mean, look it. You've got one plus four. I said it in the top of the reading, right? Five. And then you've got expect powerful change, bam, on top of it there's change is coming. So wherever you stand, and I feel like there's extremes because there always is with Cancerians. We rarely play that middle ground, right? We're not good with gray area, but there is that sense of um, something coming through, something happening. It, I mean, it's going to be either very, very beautiful or very, very traumatic. <laughs> Just letting you know. Okay. Like I said, the link is below if you're curious about who is going to be interacting with you this this coming weekend i love you cancers leo let's see what's coming through for you in terms of romantic romance this this coming weekend next weekend next weekend like i said your reading is your reading for this weekend if you're curious about the energies that's in the romantic tarot um that i put up but of course that can actually Energy is really free flowing. I have to say this. I don't know if anybody's yeah, watching for the full hour, but energy is really free flowing. So that energy could last to next weekend and the energy I'm reading this weekend could be out. So it just depends. It's that the energy is in the air for you. So Leo relationship patterns, it takes strength to recognize the need for change. Interesting because Cancerians just, you might want to watch the Cancerian reading right before yours. 
just got that huge bam a change is happening a change is coming um and this is you realizing what that change is and and sort of being in a position where you finally realize it it finally coming and making you realize decisions that you've made have you made good ones or finally realizing your um somebody is unhappy with you or the issues that they've been having with you or being able to come to terms with those those feelings and those issues and 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 be comfortable with uh the truth that's coming out have you been choosing to be too vain in terms of um putting looks and um um first like yeah be too vain in terms yeah that's, that's what it is um you know, have you been choosing partners based on how they look instead of who they are inside and based on instead of your emotional needs, your um, uh, cosmopolitan needs, your ego needs, like what have you been choosing relationships on? Whatever it is, maybe you've been giving too much and, 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 or maybe you've been too aggressive and, and always been the one that chases somebody and it ends up that they don't want you as much. Whatever the, I'm not judging you at all or saying that you're doing something wrong. I'm just saying something is going to become very, very clear to you. That's going to help you create the, the space and the atmosphere of healthy change, healthy change. That's going to enable you to make better decisions when it comes to relationships. If you are in a current relationship, this is um, those issues that have been lying just beneath the surface popping up finally coming to the surface where you can handle them and deal with them you're addressing something this coming weekend leo you're coming face to face with it it could also be now this is relationship pattern so it could it yeah what, whatever it is that you have been doing repetitively mostly that has not been working for you you know this is where you get to heal from it and you and, and you start healing by recognizing it, by diagnosing it and seeing what's wrong. And this is it. This is the diagnosis. So it, it's really an empowered space for you this coming weekend. And like I said, your full moon is going to help you a lot here. There's a full moon in Leo on February 9th, and it's going to empower you to really be real and true and realize what is not serving you anymore and what you need to cast out of your life. And that's what this is. This is the diagnosis of where's the garbage, where's the sickness, where's the cancer, just like, let me dig it out. This is you being able to finally spot it because this full moon energy is asking you to release it. It's asking you to let it go. It's asking you, but you have to know it before you can let go of it. And that's what this whole process is going to be about. Um, be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Wow. Beautiful energy. Once again, I don't know if you're, I don't know. I just got this. You may be breaking up with a Cancerian in your life um, because Cancer is cardinal energy. You may be hearing from a Cancer. You may be, it may have nothing to do with Cancerian energy, but they got big changes too. Um, but this is you making the move. This is you maybe breaking up with somebody. This may be you uh, uh, not breaking up with them, but addressing any kind of challenges or issues that you've, you've felt coming up in your relationship. You're not going to let this go, right? You're emboldened by this full moon to be able to address things straight out um, so that things don't repeat themselves, so that history doesn't repeat again. You want to get to the bottom of something. And if you look at your reading that I just did for you, it's, it's, on, the, um, it's on last week's uh, video on Vimeo on demand page. Go check it out. There is this sense of nipping something in the butt of basically being sure that you don't continue to repeat the same patterns or make the same bad choices. So this is you literally coming straight out and being the one that makes the decision to not continue on. You, you could be breaking up with somebody or breaking off a pattern that has not served you or not helped you, calling it out, like really calling somebody out on their you-know-what like calling somebody out on their BS or, or just saying this is, this situation is BS. We have to do something about it of not bending your standards anymore and just insisting on the best of, from everybody involved, you and the other person. But that comes with being honest and being truthful with what's really going on. And I think that you are finally realizing and seeing that something is happening. You know, something keeps, I keep, 
this is why do I keep why do I keep ending up in this situation? Why do I keep ending up in the circumstance? Why do we we if you're in a relationship keep coming back to the same fight? Well, this is it. This is the realization, this is the recognition and this is your first step, your first step to do something about it. If you're curious about who's coming towards you or who is on the other side of all this, that link is below in the description box. I hope to see you guys over there. Bye, Leo. Okay, now we have Virgo. Virgo, let's do this. Your energy, Virgo. Ooh. Speak the language of love. This is my Gemini card. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but there was definitely Gemini watch Gemini's reading because this is the Gemini card for me. This is the twins. This is finding somebody that you can open up to that will really listen to you. Somebody who you feel comfortable talking with. Um, this is an energy of you and Gemini really getting along. Maybe you're meeting a Gemini for the first time, but you definitely have that romantic moonlit starlit night the same way their card did. So this is some serious energy Virgo that's coming into you finding the right person, finding the words to say or finally being able to talk to people about talk to a person, your person about what has been bothering you, what's been going on. This is about finding your likeness in somebody else, finding other people being open to you and receptive to those messages or those concerns that you have. Um, this is a good, this is master communication. Remember, Gemini is ruled by Mercury just like you are. So what that's telling me is next week is going to be the perfect week to communicate. To communicate rationally, logically, pragmatically, but also honestly with somebody and that they will be receptive to hearing what you have to say and you should be receptive to hearing what they have to say. Communication will be going very, very well for you. Do this um, at least by next weekend, uh, Virgo, because when Mercury goes into retrograde, it's going to, all hell is going to break loose. So this is definitely your time, sort of that sweet spot before, before, you know, you might get into some wonky periods. If you're totally single Gemini, this is about a conversation, a conversation that you have with a new person that sets your soul on fire that you found through their conversation and how they talk and what they talk about and how interesting they are and how they listen to you. And you almost feel really akin to them. This could be you discovering your twin flame or your soulmate for very few of you, but it could be. Um, but this is somebody who you have a very, um, similar perspective on life it's like you see the same things you want the same things and you have a lot in common and especially though it's through their words and the way that they communicate you actually being able to spend some really romantic time with this person uh, this coming weekend and use it use it to talk and to really open your heart to somebody step out of your comfort zone whoa every time i get this card where is your north node, Virgo? Where is your north node? Go to astrologycafe.com and get your full natal chart spread. You will need your birth date, your birth time, and the location of your birth. Find your north node because your north node is going to be a big, big player next weekend. Your north node is what you are most challenged by in your life. Your North Node is those things that don't come obvious to you. It's like, oh, I've always been so bad at math. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because my North, North Node is in Virgo and because it, I struggle with thinking uh, in a systematic, uh, organized, step-by-step -step way. I struggle with it. I've always struggled with it. It's like my Achilles heel. But in working, realizing your North Node and working on your North Node, that's how you make your life its optimal. Your North Node is the secret to your success in life on this journey through your life right now. It is what you have to aspire to and what you have to work on. And just working on those things will make major breakthroughs happen in your life. So 
Virgo, go find out your North Node. And that will tell you about any kind of challenges or the mindset that you need to get into to be able to get into this romantic space. It could say to you, step out of your comfort zone, um, do something different, change what you normally would do. It may not feel, it may not feel right to you, but does it feel wrong or does it just feel not right because it's something that you're not used to yet? Go out of your way. Why? This could be going to a game or going to a, a play or whatever. Something that you normally wouldn't do. You know, one of your friends comes up to you and says, hey, you want to go? And you're like, I'm not really interested in that. Go. Take the ticket. You're going to meet somebody very, very special. Or this person is actually going to surprise you and be somebody very, very special that you're going to enjoy spending time with. Or if you're already with somebody... Would you normally initiate a conversation with them? Probably. You usually are very good at initiating conversations. So maybe it's don't initiate the conversation. Just let them initiate the conversation and listen to what they have to say. Whatever it is that is counter, not to your instincts. And that's what people have to really determine the difference. This isn't about going against your instincts and your intuition. That's not what North Node is. North Node is out of your comfort zone. It's stepping out of your comfort zone and your intuition will tell you when to step out of your comfort zone. So you follow your intuition and trust your intuition. You know, your intuition might give, give you pause this coming week to do this coming weekend or next week, right? It may give you pause. It may make you, make you be like, wait, that doesn't feel comfortable. But your intuition is like, I don't care if it doesn't feel comfortable. I know the cave is dark. I want you to go in there anyway. Listen to your intuition, follow it, because it's actually going to take you to a place of wholeness and wellness and a lot of happiness. Mm. If you are curious about who is coming towards you, Virgo, that link is below. That's the who's coming towards your reading. Um, and I really feel like if you step out of your comfort zone, you will find yourself really connecting with somebody. Even if it's your husband for 25 years, if you if you just maybe sit down and like watch the game with him type of thing and, and instead maybe you wouldn't have normally watched the game with him because it doesn't interest you but just that simple act of stepping out of what's your norm and 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 stepping into his world makes him open up to you and you get this romantic sense sense that this romantic atmosphere that hasn't happened to you in a long time just by that one simple thing of doing something that was different for you, you know, and then doing something that was right for them. It's stepping out of your comfort zone is what's going to put you into that beautiful, it's going to help you connect very deeply with somebody that could be very important into your, in your life or is already very important in your life. Okay. And now we have Libra. Libra energy. All right, Libra, 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 take a chance on love. Okay, where else did you show up? Somebody else is reading. Hold on, Taurus, it was Taurus. It was definitely Taurus, and they're your they're your they're your counter planet. They're your they're your um, um, partner planet, right? Within that Venetian connection, so um, you might want to watch their video. I'm sorry, their timestamp. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. This is my card of destiny of following your path of following the, what you love to do of chasing your dreams and on the way meeting somebody that you love eternally this is you finding a divine counterpart this is this is you you're not looking for them on this path but you meet them on this path because they had the same vision as you and then you two meeting up and sharing that same vision and riding off into the sunset 
with a shared vision, a shared um, understanding of where you want to go and where your future is headed. That, that sense of coming together with a similar mindset and deciding the same things. This is two plus three. So this is also a card of change. Libra, I don't know where you are right now in your love journey, but this is this is really finding that sweet spot where you connect with somebody and you are in, in focus with them. You have the same goals as them. So you you may be coming into focus with your current partner and deciding on where your future is going to go or deciding on the house you're going to buy, how you're going to paint the house, or whether or not you're going to get married. It's like the two of you deciding on your future and combining your visions to be one vision, to be a, a combined vision. So this is long-term decision-making. Um, this is also coming to terms with the fact that maybe you're on a different path from your current partner, but you have to stay on your path and they have to go on theirs and the person you're supposed to be with is going to come into your life. Lots of different interpretations here, but generally speaking, this is coming together. This is this is that togetherness happening. This is the two of you um, seeing the same thing, wanting the same thing, deciding on the same thing. Or, like I said, if you don't have anybody in your life right now, Libra, this is the two of you meeting on the path because you both share the same passion. Your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon. So this is, speak. do you see always the elf? I almost see like Santa Claus here. It's like, how far are you willing to go? How much of a burden? How, how far can you carry this burden? This is a sense of your commitment is being uh, tested. Um, commitment to your path. You may feel called off your path, distracted by somebody who is very, very tempting. Um, but this could also be... Um, uh, yeah, are you going to give up just because you're alone? Um, this could also be if you're in a relationship, um, you meeting somebody outside of the relationship that makes you feel like you have a shared vision and it might put a strain on your current relationship, making you realize that it's not as strong as you thought it was. Um, or basically, um, 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 confirming that this is a the current relationship has to come to an end and a new relationship has to begin or it's just your commitment in general to your spouse is is being tested because you're starting to clash on the direction you want to go and you maybe these conversations have come up recently and they've become more and more frequent so this is basically sitting down to redetermine hey um, okay, let's work through this. Uh, how can we combine what you want with what I want again? We've done this before. Let's do it again. But there is going to be a little bit of a rub of what do you really want? Do you want to keep pursuing your dreams or do you want a love to come into your life? Or do you want to settle for this love? Is this love settling or should you keep going? Wherever you have set your focus, your commitment to how set that focus is, is going to be tested. And so this is uh, screw your courage to the sticking place, Libra, and make the decision to double down and make, make recommit to what you've already committed to if this commitment matters. But you're being really asked, what is, what is the commitment that matters? What is that commitment? Like, is it to your relationship or is it to your dreams? You could, it, there's not an impossibility here. If you're curious about who you're dealing with and who might be coming toward you, that link is below. Please do go and enjoy the extended. But for right now, this energy is simply saying, um, what is it that you really want? Like, do you know what you really want? Do you still have the same vision that you had 20 years ago when you started out on this path? Um, these are, these are, these are good questions, actually. They're very healthy questions, um, and they're very fair questions. So Libra, this weekend is going to be kind of like ripping you open so that you answer them. Um, also, I feel like there's some sort of temptation coming in here where you might get you might get detoured from your path a little bit um, because somebody is very, very, very irresistible. Like meeting somebody irresistible that might distract you for a little while, maybe set you back for a little while. But the truth is with Mercury retrograde coming, coming back, I mean, coming, coming into play, 
is it really bad for us to step back for a little while? Not really. This could be perfect timing for you to step back a little bit and not push so hard. And this kind of romance that's coming in your life is the perfect distraction for that. I don't know how far this is going to go, but this is, that's the question of this card is how far is this going to go? Like, where is this commitment headed? And do I want to commit at all? Like, how committed am I to my current path? How committed am I to my current relationship? This could be that third party coming in in the middle of the night, temp trying to tempt you away or feeling very tempted to get into a third party situation unbeknownst to your partner, or it could be vice versa, that there is some sort of looming, um, shadowy kind of like third party that you may be suspecting your spouse of, of engaging in or your, your, you know, your boyfriend or girlfriend engaging in. Um, so this is definitely something that would come out next weekend or the, the, the temptation might begin next weekend or it might come out next weekend, but you'll definitely be able to feel this vibe in the air of being pulled into a direction that you didn't, um, that before you hadn't set course for. So that's a big old FYI and a uh, warning for you to just be aware of this energy that's around you. If you feel like somebody's cheating on you, um, I think you can already feel the energy around you and next weekend may be um, that time to like bring it out into the open and talk about it or just gather more information on it. But I definitely feel like there, there could be a third party, some sort of temptation, some sort of pull toward you wanting to pull you out of this relationship instead of keep you focused on where you want to go together. It's going to really test how committed you are to your shared dream and your shared purpose. And that could be just the test you need to strengthen your relationship and head on into the sunset and be like, whoo, made it through that one. But at the same time, it brings up important questions that need to be addressed, Libra. So address them as soon as they come up. Whoo. Mm. Okay. Wow. So always, 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 these are energies and you can always flip all these energies around guys. It could be what's happening on the other side, right? For cross watchers, you know, it could be what you're doing instead of what they're doing. You know, like you energies could, are very fluent and they can always flip. And also this energy isn't just for next weekend. This is what's going to happen. Um, it could be very fluent. It could be out to the weekend afterward or even after that because energies from last week's reading could be influencing you now. So depending on where those, where, how everything aligns with you personally, things could be happening in different timing. But this is just giving you that feeling of what is, and like I said, if it's, if it's close, you're going to feel it already. So that's what's going to really tell you um, yes or no, or is this going to happen to me next weekend? How soon is it happening? You can, you'll already be able to feel like you'll already be able to feel the energies for those of you who are watching. Like, um, I didn't resonate with that at all. It could just be that the energies haven't come into play yet. And in the next couple of weeks, they're going to, and that's when you're going to start feeling them. So it's really good to always go back and watch other romantic tarots. They're all in the same YouTube playlist. Take a look at them. Um, they're all time stamps. So we have, it's about a seven, eight minute reading. Um, just to let you guys know uh, how these videos function and how you can play with them and work with them and like make them work optimally for you. The extended link is always below. That's the nitty gritty who is coming toward you. Like who is this person that is going to be sharing this energy with you? Sometimes that's a real curious energy you want to explore and I hope you do. Thank you so much for joining in this video and I'll see you guys for next week's Romantic Tarot. Enjoy the Super Bowl.